In this tutorial, you will learn how to migrate your required purchase settings for your in-app products to use the more advanced methods provided in the new Access Controls feature. Before activating Access Controls, when you're at BuddyBoss App, Settings, In-app Purchases Settings, you will see this option for require members to purchase an in-app product before viewing app content. The settings restricts access to your app's content until a customer has purchased one of your in-app products based on the integrations you have configured for your products. This is now provided in a better form in Access Controls. So after you've activated Access Controls, you will need to set up Access Groups and Access Rules to maintain the same user experience. If you do not want to activate access controls at this time, your current setup will be maintained and you do not have to take any action. But if you do want to enable access controls, then you will need to proceed with the migration to achieve the same functionality. You should see this warning saying, you can now use access controls to configure which purchases are required to access your app's content. Let's click on this access controls link. We are redirected to BuddyBoss Labs, where we can enable the new Access Controls feature. We have another tutorial explaining how BuddyBoss Labs works and why we have introduced Access Controls as a Labs feature, so make sure to watch that tutorial if you're interested. Let's check this box to enable Access Controls for the BuddyBoss app. And we get this modal warning us that we will need to migrate our required purchase settings into the new access controls options. Let's click activate and then save changes. And now that the access controls is enabled, we can return to the settings for in-app purchases. And you can see that our previous option for require members to purchase an in-app product before viewing app content is no longer available as this setting is not compatible with Access Controls. Let's click this Access Controls link one more time. And now that we have enabled the feature, we are brought into the Access Controls option, also accessible from BuddyBoss app Access Controls. So now let's configure Access Controls to recreate our previous content restrictions for members who have not yet purchased in-app products. In order to achieve your previous functionality, where you restrict which members can view your app's content after logging in, first you will need to turn on this Restrict Access setting, which will restrict who can log into the BuddyBoss app. Let's check it. The previous setting was very limited, but now with Access Controls, as you can see, you have much more control over how you want to restrict content and what to display to users when they're viewing a restricted content. You will want to restrict who can log into the app to certain access groups. We have another tutorial explaining in detail how to set up access groups, so make sure to watch that video as well. Once you have created some access groups, you will be able to restrict who can log into the app based on which access group they belong to by selecting an access group from this dropdown. For each of the memberships and courses you were previously restricting access by, you will want to create an access group for it. To do that, you will click on Access Groups, and then you can click Add Group. You can create a group for each group of members that should be able to access your content. So for example, I could click Member Press if I am using the Member Press plugin and want to restrict access based on membership level. I can now restrict access to users who have any membership level within MemberPress. Or I can click Has a Specific Membership. And here I can select a specific membership. Then I'll click Save Group. The group is now being created, and it takes a moment for the system to calculate how many members belong to this group. If you have any members enrolled in your Gold Membership, they will appear here and you can also recalculate members. Let's create one more access group. This time, I'll set the condition to Learn Dash Courses. And we'll set up this access group to be for users who are enrolled in any course. 
If they have enrolled in at least one course, they will be added into this access group. Let's click Save Group. And now we have two access groups. Let's go back to Access Controls. And we'll recheck this since we have not yet saved these settings. And now we can require members to be in all of our access groups or to be in any of the access groups before they can log into the Buddy Boss app. Let's add both of our access groups. And now, a user can only log into the app if they are enrolled in any LearnDash course or if they're in the gold member breast level. I can switch this to all, and now a user can only log into the app if they meet both of these conditions. We have an additional option to control what the user should see if they do not meet the conditions and are then restricted from logging into the app. To maintain the previous functionality, you can use show product screen or you can return them to the login screen or you can show a specific app page. With this option, you might want to create a new app page explaining why they are restricted from viewing the content and what steps they should take to gain access. And then you could select the app page from this dropdown. I'll set it back to show product screen. And let's click Save Changes. By doing this, you have replicated the previous functionality that you were getting through the required purchase setting. Except now, you have a lot more flexibility and control with how you want to configure the experience.